Katika also for this opportunity and uh, it's really nice to be here with all of the panelists but I think more importantly also with all of the participants uh, in this very important meeting also to see the diversity uh, of different people from different places but also from different uh, walks of life all caring about uh, the success of the SDGs and I think the implementation of how it needs to be done as well. Also the others uh, in the UN family that uh, really I think uh, very much appreciate these ongoing efforts of dialogue uh, and uh, deliberations on how to make sure that various goals uh, are successfully implemented. Uh, it's part of a larger effort I think that includes many partners. So thank you very much for those opportunities. It's also nice to, to hear a little bit about uh, what Simon and uh, Kritika were saying. Sometimes when I hear young people speak with passion, I look at myself and say, you know, look at my own body and think, what the hell, where did it go wrong? Uh, but I think uh, that's part of why we have youth and to inspire us and also to show where we should be going and what needs to be done. So uh, keep doing that. Uh, that's important. It's your future. It's our future, but you are creating a better, better world for uh, your children's children and generations, so that's really what is needed from young people, I think, more importantly. I'm not going to say too much because I think there was a lot of discussions already around the SDGs. I think it was very detailed in terms of what I've noticed, uh, in terms of the outlines, uh, the, uh, the various goals, but also the actions that were proposed. Um, maybe just to mention that I think if one really looks at the SDGs in a comprehensive way, there is a, a really, I think, a realization, and it's been mentioned here by, uh, by many people already, that, uh, that, that the world has really become, I think, first of all, a little more complex. Development uh, challenges and solving sustainable solutions for us as a human race on this planet, um, it's not easy to solve that. And we need really, in the second time, uh, therefore, secondly, we really need integrated solutions. We can't look at it just from where we're sitting, whether we're in academia, government, civil society, multilateral organizations, business. We need to look across sectors and uh, contribute in an integrated way, not through silos. And that's the same for, depending on which thematic, uh, academic, uh, or, uh, or development area we represent. I sometimes joke that we often in the UN have a lot of challenges to, to integrate amongst ourselves, uh, even with my colleagues in UNDP, between the environment, the governance, the poverty reduction section, we often sometimes don't talk enough to each other. And I think this is really what the SDGs <coughs> is driving, that it is a comprehensive understanding of, of solving problems uh, that are very complex. Um, and again, if it would have been easy, we would have solved them already. Um, and I think that's kind of the, the, the second challenge. The third is really innovation where some of the solutions are and how we use innovation also in a way that really uh, can bring that out. And I think the discussions had wonderful examples and I listened to great stories of where that is already happening. And then I think fourthly is just uh, the whole issue of, um, and I think that's a challenge maybe here, how do we continue to dream big and have a big framework and very large comprehensive goals with many indicators but at the same time keep our feet on the ground and realize what we're, what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think that's really the challenge because uh, it's good to just dream and have a wonderful vision of where we want to be, uh, but there's the reality and I think many of us, including in the civil societies, uh, the, the organizations working with the poor and really on the grassroots level, feel this on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think that's finding that balance is often uh, between reality and what we want to do uh, is really important to accomplish as well. So I think um, I want to thank many of you for working in those areas. Uh, I remember working in Palestine when the, one of the people said that uh, he used the, uh, the, the example that we have to be uh, clouds of witnesses, clouds of witnesses. And what uh, she was meaning with this is that we have to have our head in the cloud, we need to vision what we want for our children and uh, their children. But we also need to have our feet on the ground uh, and we need to face and deal with those that really need our help on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think this balance is very crucial as we move forward. Having said that, therefore, I think that really the, the action plan, and I've read it uh, briefly before it was shared, I don't know if it was changed uh, and updated, but really is also a great action for what needs to be done. That's really where the, the next phase and the next uh, work needs to be done. I, I use the word grip. I think and I mean GRIP, we have now have the goals, the G, we now have to find the roles because different people have different roles for different areas. We need to have a very good implementation um, 
And then I think we also need very good processes, how we're going to implement it, whether it's in our communities, in our, uh, in our cities, uh, in our districts, in our, uh, in our countries, or globally as well. And I think that's really where these discussions and the action plan is wonderful to see what has been proposed and how to move it forward. And that's really a lot of that is needed. Um, however, having said that, and being at many of these conferences, uh, I come from the NGO sector before joining uh, the UN, and I think uh, we used to have three words, uh, see, plan, and action. Eh? See what's the problem, plan and design, and get a good uh, solution going, and then have action. If you don't have the action, nothing happens. And I, I sometimes jokingly say now that I've joined the UN, I sit at many workshops and trainings, hopefully not this one, I'm sure not this one, where the three words are often see, plan, and file. You know, the good ideas get put in a file and it doesn't really move into real changes for people who need uh, really to see actions on their day-to-day -day life. So I think that's really, I think, the big challenge. Um, how can we move this into real action that makes ch uh, changes in the lives of people that desperately are looking for us, uh, to many of us, for solutions? So from my side and also from the UN, I think, uh, family, in many ways, thank you for this wonderful effort. I, I'm very incredibly impressed. We look forward to supporting many of you, wherever it might be in the different implementation areas and looking also forward to this rollout uh, over the next decade and a half, which I think is going to be incredibly exciting for all of us. Thank you very much.